Well, what's up guys, everything Apple Pro here, and here I've got the new Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. It's really a beautiful and striking device. Uh, they've changed a lot of things on the outside. It's a lot curvier, smoother, and finish is different. All in all, it equals out to be quite a beautiful phone. Not only did they make it look better, but they also did add waterproofing. So we're turning to the old golden days of waterproof Samsung phones. The S5 was technically water resistant, not waterproof, but this one has a full IP68 waterproof rating, meaning it can sit in a meter and a half of water for 30 minutes and come out just fine after taking all of your dolphin photos. So uh, I wanna put it to the test with this video. Is this thing really waterproof? Are Samsung's claims true? And as a point of reference, I've got an iPhone 6 Plus plus here. This thing isn't water resistant or waterproof or anything like that, but as your average smartphone nowadays, I want to see how a regular smartphone compares underwater to a Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, which is said to be waterproof. So let's go ahead and test these phones, see how they do if the Galaxy S7 Edge is actually waterproof. And this is just a foot of water, regular tap water here. We're going to set these guys in there and see what happens and if they survive. So here are these beautiful phones, the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, the iPhone 6S Plus. I'm not too worried about the S7 Edge. Uh, you know, the construction seems solid. It's a lot beefier as they did waterproof it from the inside out instead of just adding rubber seals around it like the S5. You know, I, uh, I have good faith in Samsung. The S5, which wasn't even waterproof, did so well when I took it underwater. Whew, all right. So uh, let's put these guys to the test, see how long the iPhone 6S Plus compares when it tries to compete on the waterproof level. Here we go. Whew. Uh, three, two, one. All right. So we're going to let them soak and uh, got the Galaxy S7 Edge on the left, the iPhone 6S Plus on the right. Let's give them a few minutes here. And uh, if they do survive, what I really want to see is uh, what still works and what doesn't. A lot of people test if it survives or not, but the next day it stops working, you know, like ports stop working. And uh, let's put this all to the test and see how they do. So uh, Galaxy S7 Edge just connected to a network underwater. Otherwise the 6S Plus just lost service. <laughs> um, I don't know. They still look good. All right, so uh, we're approaching three minutes right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out and see how they're doing. Uh, usually someone, if they drop their phone in the water, they're not gonna leave it there unless they wanna intentionally record underwater. Uh, so at three minutes here, let's pull them out real quick. And we'll go ahead and pause on this guy. All right, so both seem to be working just fine. Both displays still work. It's like, uh, you can almost say the 6S Plus is waterproof, but we know that's not the case. It's only a matter of time, but both seem to be doing pretty good. I'm impressed. All right. So, uh, in they go again. All right. In the phones go again. Let's go ahead and start this timer again. And, uh, this time we'll leave them in for a, a longer amount of time. Let them really, really soak up in there, but... I'm actually surprised the iPhone is doing okay, not showing any signs of water damage yet. The last one we tested didn't do very well. Maybe it was the iOS 9.2.1 update, did something different, we'll see. <laughs> but uh, you know, about a foot of water in here, good amount of depth in there. Let's see how it really does. Now what's really cool about the uh, S7 Edge and S7 is that they actually have a cooler inside of them. It's rocket technology, so there's a liquid that turns to gas and vice versa, depending on how hot or cold the phone is. And I thought that was quite incredible. Something that's used for uh, space travel is being used in a phone nowadays. And what's also cool is the way that Samsung made the Galaxy S7 waterproof is uh, they did it from the inside out. Instead of just sealing up the ports, they sealed off the entire phone. They used a new technology to do so. And uh, this thing, you know, it's already proving to be quite the waterproof phone and something I wouldn't worry twice about taking to the beach or to any of, you know, body of water. Now we don't know what kind of a difference a salt water would do. Maybe that's a future test itself, but I'm curious to see what it would take to completely destroy this thing in the water, how far, how deep you'd have to go. But you know, in a regular foot of water, still doing good, both of them. Uh, the iPhone and the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. So we're approaching five minutes here, still doing good. Let's keep going and uh, take it to 10 minutes, 15. And as far as other phones go that we've tested, probably the best one, the iPhone 6, then the 6S, 
than the Galaxy S6. They all did pretty good, but let's keep going and see how these do. Just to give you guys a perspective, here it is uh, in the water, the uh, iPhone 6S Plus and Galaxy S7 Edge. So we've got a good amount of water on top of them. This isn't anything like a little shallow pan. This is actually a foot of water here. Both are still alive, almost at the 10 minute mark. We're gonna pull them out at 10 minutes and see which ports still work if everything is working as it should, of course. After 10 minutes, if you haven't pulled your phone out of the water, you know, the chances of the 6S Plus surviving gets very, very slim. So uh, let's go ahead and pull this guy out here in about 10 seconds, see how it's doing. All righty, let's pull these guys out. So, here is the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge and the iPhone 6S Plus. Both alive as far as I can tell. Uh, display is working, home button's working. I am amazed, what the heck? This guy seems to be working, okay. So let's test the speakers, see if we can get some audio out of them. That is really, really quiet. That is seemingly too quiet. Do you hear that? So uh, the volume seems to be erratic. It's going up and down, and there's a static tint to it. So I wouldn't say that's completely water resistant. I mean, playing the sound, it's obvious that some water got in the speaker. Uh, whether or not that goes away, who knows. We can definitely start to see the evidence of uh, the water damage right here. There's a little finger coming out of it. Otherwise, the phone is working, the audio is working. Let's test the cameras real quick. Still working good. Let's test the technology, edge swipe, 3D touch is out working, and uh, headphone jacks. All right, so audio is working on uh, this guy. Looks good. So other than this little little doodad right there sticking out, so uh, can't really tell it's been water damaged. All right, we're good on both. So it looks like everything is still working on both devices. So let's put these guys back in the water, see how they do in about five to 10 more minutes. Back in they go. Boom. And I always wanted to see if 3D Touch works underwater. Apparently not. So when I push on the S7 Edge, there's no uh, air coming out, nothing. And wow, the screen actually works underwater. What? I had no idea. So you can go and start recording, choose any application underwater. Wow. Okay, I'm, I'm honestly a little bit blown away right now. I had no idea that would something that would work. I can't get the edge display to pop up, but you can actually use this thing underwater. The iPhone, the screen doesn't work, but when you push on it, you get little bubbles coming out. Wow, I'm actually blown away by this thing. Samsung, you're doing something right. All right, so everything is working. I'm impressed, really. Let's get this up to 15 minutes, 20 minutes, see how long these last. All right, so while still underwater, I wanna go ahead and move all of these around to make sure I can get as much air out of them as possible. So flipping it upside down, yeah, you can definitely see all the air coming out. Oh yeah, I'm starting to see watermarks in the display. Okay, so it's only a matter of time now. It no longer catches Wi-Fi underwater. And yeah, starting to see more artifacts on the display. Let's leave it. Shouldn't be long. The end is coming. All right, so the phone has restarted. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in here, but you can see on the displays there's artifacts from the water and the shader on the whole left side of the screen. Yeah, so unless you want a cool new uh, boot logo, don't put your phone in there. Ooh. Anyways, I think that is completely done. So I'm gonna pause it. it took about 15 minutes and uh, this guy is toast. So a lot of water is coming out of here. Look, I can squeeze it and it'll <laughs> Oh my goodness, nice new water gun for you coming out of the side. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of water. <laughs> I've never seen that before, that is cool. I wanna show you guys how effective uh, the iPhone makes as a water gun, so I'm gonna fill this up completely. You wanna squeeze the iPhone to make sure to get as much water inside of it as possible. Okay, so it is full of water now. And uh, 
Just go ahead and squeeze your phone. You can shoot up to six feet. <laughs> that actually goes pretty far. Not bad. So if you ever lose your water gun, just grab your iPhone out of your pocket real quick. You got a few shots in there. Makes for an effective water gun. Okay, so it's on. And it's not on. Okay, it's done. So, I don't know why that is. Like, you can push the display in and there's some giveaway. And all that stuff is coming out now. So, a ton of water coming out of here. Seems to be completely done. 15 minutes is what it took. Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Still working, still fine. Let's pull that guy out real quick. As far as I can tell, this thing is working perfectly. I'm honestly impressed, very impressed how well it works with uh, water on the screen, with it being underwater. That's great. A lot of people are gonna enjoy this as a treat. So this guy on the other hand is done. It's now a brick. And definitely do not use your phone underwater. It cannot compare to the awesome new Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. I really hope Apple follows in the footsteps of Samsung and goes ahead and releases the waterproof iPhone 7. The possibilities are great. Never having to worry about getting water in your phone, putting a case on it. That's something I could definitely use. So thanks so much for watching guys. Just a fun little test to see how either one of these would do in the water, obviously. Not a good choice for the iPhone. Be sure to check out the drop test and the comparison itself. There's a lot of cool things to see about the Samsung Galaxy S7. Have a great day, guys. Peace.